let's get some kindling chopped up and a fire going. work on getting our fire going for the first time. Now it's starting to go. It's working nicely. Nice seeing smoke coming out of the chimney of the off-grid outdoor kitchen. We don't need to keep an eye on the fire to make sure it gets nice and hot, but not too hot and it burns off all the nasty stuff on top of it. We're gonna pull up the drain for the stainless steel mop sink in the kitchen. While that, while that wood cook stove snack crackling and popping away, I'm gonna show you what we got for fitting. We got a bunch of 90s. Then we got an inch and a quarter rubber coupling. I'm gonna take our inch and a half rubber coupling and stick it up over our drain. This isn't a regular drain, and I don't need an S trap in here, so I'm just gonna put this on, the couplet on like so, and then I'm gonna connect my pipe right to this. I like using my chop saw to cut my PVC pipe. It gives it a nice clean cut, it's quick. You just wanna go a little slower. Gives you a nice clean cut. Looks like a factory cut. Put it together and give it a dry fit. And on. Set it in place. I need a 45 and I don't have one. I went in my basement and looked at my plumbing supplies. I keep a lot of stuff kicking around. You never know when you're gonna need it. And I found a street 90, so that'll work. I was thinking I could just go straight back and then 90 it. Well, we're kitty corners, we need a 45. But if I go like this, then I can change my angle to get where I need to go to make a 90. I'm gonna dry fit another piece and I can twist my sink to make my 90. That's what it looks like. See how far away from the back wall we are. Perfect. I want to keep it up off the ground on this end. And we'll run it at a slight angle down to where we get shoot it out. I'm gonna move my stainless steel table out of the way. The outhouse goes to here, so I wanna run out, I wanna run the plumbing just out past it. I'm gonna to come to here, eyeball it. If we go 30 inches, we should be good. We'll cut one more piece. That works for me. Now we just need to drill a hole. Let's go on the back side of the kitchen and drill it inside so that way we'll be right up against the outhouse like we want to be. We just want to be able to have the plumbing run right here. Keep it right tight up against and to the floor. Perfect. Let's grab our last piece of pipe. Mount it here if we need, if we would like to. I like that. Let's go inside. What are you doing in there, Pluto? No, we're staying in. Come on. Awesome. Perfect. Now we can change this. Go like this. Figure out where 
we want it. Now we can mark our last piece and we'll be good. Reinstall our pieces. Put a level on it and make sure we're going the right way, but we're not level. We are completely level. So I need to raise this end up. Not a lot, just enough so we get the water running. I set my level on there. You can see that's nice and level, which is what you'd normally like if you're doing regular construction. When we're doing plumbing, we need to make sure it's running downhill. So we just gotta lift this side up a smidge. I'll go get a shim to put under there. Let's pick this corner up a smidge. There. Perfect. Let's check this side. Nice. Now we need to mark all of our fittings and we're gonna glue them up. I like marking them with a Sharpie. That way I know they're the way they were when I took them apart. The only fittings we're gonna glue right now are these on this end, bottom end of the sink. The ones up against the wall, we're gonna leave. We're gonna be sheathing this back wall at some point. And I'm gonna to have to disconnect this one to get everything in place. So we'll make it so we'll leave this fitting and this fitting unglued for now. Let's check on the stove. It's up to, it's the temperature. 325, almost 350. Ooh, we need to add some more. And that's just using scrap pine left over from building the outdoor kitchen. Let's put a piece of cardboard down. We don't want to make a mess on our stainless steel tables. First thing I want to glue up is the 90s together. Got our cleaner, our glue. And some primer. We don't need the primer, but we have it, so we're going to use it. Now we'll apply some glue. Line up our marks. Let that sit for a minute. Clean up this other end. Now when you have your marks on, you want to be careful because the cleaner will take off the marks even if though it is done with a sharpie. Just want to hold it on there for a second until it sets up because it wants to push them away. There. Boy, this glue really stinks.
line up our marks and hold it in there for a minute until it sets up. There. Everything is glued that we want glued for now. All in place now. Put it up there. Tighten it up. I'll leave the bottom one loose until we have it all turned where we need it. Let's tighten up this last fitting. Time for one more piece. You're gonna have to guess what we're doing or wait and see. Then we want to make sure no rodents can get in. So we put the screen on, and it's an aluminum screen. It's not plastic. Grab some rainwater and give it a try. Now it doesn't have a regular style sink drain, so we bought this stopper to hold the water, and hopefully that'll work. The drain's working, it's holding the water back. Awesome. That's about three gallons of water in there and it's not even up an inch. That holds some water. Let's try it. It's working. Nice. Well, that worked. Let's make sure there's not any leaks now. Nice and dry. Even where we didn't glue it, it's dry. One little drip right there. That's all right. Let's see how the stove's doing. We could use some more wood, but it's burning off nicely on top. Temperature is 275. We got some friends coming over tonight for dinner. We gotta cook some brownies up. Why not try cooking them in the antique wood cook stove? Now yes, hardwood would work better, but today we're just playing around and making sure the stove works. So we're just gonna use up some of the scrap pine we have. One last thing we have for the sink. This is nice for washing vegetables on or anything else. Just set that in place. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm very excited we got the sink all hooked up. Now we can be washing our veggies inside. When we're processing our animals, we can be washing them off right inside. This is gonna be a huge game changer. I'm glad we're gonna have it done for the pig harvesting class, but I'm kinda sad we didn't have it done for the growing season this year. But we'll be using the outdoor kitchen for the pig harvesting class and for the heritage meat birds we have out in the cattle panel chicken tractors. 
Those will be getting harvested pretty soon also. Can you hear the crackling and popping? That makes me happy too. That looks so pretty, sounds so nice. We have some more burning off to do. But it's cleaned up quite a bit. I'm gonna leave that fire going the rest of the day. It looks good. I wanted to say thanks for the tip of raising the cook stove up to countertop height nowadays, because we are taller. That is a great height, so if you have an old antique wood cook stove, raise it five to six inches and you'll appreciate it. If you want to dig deeper and learn more about what's going on here at Lumna Acres and, and how we do some of the projects we do and how you can do them, go on over to our website. I'm going to put a link for it right here and in the description down below. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.